good morning children now we are going to see about matter around us this is third unit in your 7th standard science book let's see the lesson we knew that everything we see around that occupy space and have mass is called matter heat light and sound occupy space but does not have mass hence these are not matter do you know what is matter is composed of we studied earlier that matter is composed of tiny little particles let us understand what these particles are a graphite refill used in a pencil is made up of element called carbon we can break the graphite into smaller and smaller pieces in fact if we have an even finer knife we can break it even smaller if keep cutting the graphite into smaller and smaller pieces we will reach a point where we reach smallest constituents of graphite carbon atom if we break that carbon atom apart then it will no longer exhibit the properties of carbon the smallest unit of an element that exhibits the properties of the element is called as atom so an atom is the smallest particle of an element okay children next we are going to see about molecules when an atom combines with another atom and forms a compound it is called as molecule a molecule is made up of two or more atoms chemically combined here oxygen gas in the air that we breathe is made up of two oxygen atoms chemically combined ozone is a substance that is made up of three oxygen atoms chemically combined an atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen combine to form a molecule of water molecules also exhibit properties of matter and have individual existence a molecule can be formed by the same or different kinds of atom let's see the classification of molecules a molecule which contains only one atom is called monatomic molecule example inert gases like helium neon argon and next a molecule which contains two atoms is called diatomic molecule example oxygen nitric oxide hydrogen and next type a molecule containing three atom is called a triatomic molecule example ozone sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide and next type a molecule containing more than 3 atoms are known as polyatomic molecule example phosphate sulfur next we are going to see about classification of matter matter is classified into two broad categories namely pure substance and mixture pure substance are further divided into categories as elements and compounds elements matter in its simplest form is called an element we are using many elements in our daily life the common salt is consist of elements of sodium and chlorine there are 118 known elements till date 94 of these elements occur naturally while 24 elements have been created artificially in the laboratory next let's see the classification of elements we can classify the elements broadly into metals non metals and metalloids first we are going to see about metals we have tools utensils and jewelry made from silver copper iron gold aluminum using pressure like hammering or rolling we can deform these materials into various shapes such elements that are malleable is called as metals let's see the characters of metals metals are generally hard and shiny elements sodium is one of the exception as it is soft all metals except mercury are solids at room temperature mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature metals are malleable can be bent or bitten into sheets they can be drawn into wires they are good conductors of heat and electricity copper lead tin nickel iron zinc gold magnesium and calcium are examples of metals next we are going to see about non metals non metals are generally dull and soft however diamond is shiny and also the hardest natural substance on earth non metals can be gases solids liquids non metals such as oxygen hydrogen and chlorine 
or gases at room temperature non metals such as carbon iodine sulfur and phosphorus or solid at room temperature bromine is the only non metal that is liquid at room temperature non metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity however graphite is a good conductor of electricity finally we are going to see about metalloids metalloids exhibit the properties of both metals and non metals silicon arsenic antimony and boron are some examples of metalloids okay children in this class we saw about atom elements molecules and metal non metal metalloids in next class we will meet with another topic thank you children